Jai Hind. I'm Wing Commander Pooja Thakur. Um, let's start with my journey in the Air Force Academy, and it was in 2001, on 10th of July 2001, that I entered the Air Force Academy. The Air Force Academy, which is at Dundigal, it's a place near Hyderabad. And uh, when I entered the academy, I was an army brat, you know. So I've spent 20 years, you can say, you know, along with the uniform, being growing up with the people in uniform. So I thought I had a complete edge over my other counterparts and uh, I would fare up pretty well in the academy. But I guess ground reality is something really different, you know. So while I would have seen my father prepare the uniform every day immaculately, I think I only knew how to wear the uniform. But I didn't even knew how to prepare that uniform. Do you, do you know the kind of effort that goes into preparing a uniform from wearing a single badge on how high from the pocket it has to be, how much has to be on the left, how much is on the right? And leave alone preparing, you know, I think I never was prepared to wash five uniforms like that every day at 3 a.m. in the morning. And I still wonder that how I used to be able to take out those bad mud stains from those uniforms at 3 a.m. with that scrubber, washing scrubber, without making a sound. I still wonder how I did that. Because you can't afford to make a sound. So besides these small little things and everything, you know, you have your academics, you have your PT parade, and there is no time for anything, and there is a standing instruction of running, you can't just walk, there has to be a run. You have to be always on your toes. And I think it took a toll on me. And when I say it took a toll on me, I wouldn't say that I spent a lot of time in that. I was ready to go back on the third day. Entering the academy, something I dreamt of. And the third day, I was ready to go back. Thinking, no, this is not what I wanted. Is this, can I do this? And I still remember, remember that, you know, like a taunt from my senior, who got a whiff of it. And he said, oh, ready to give up your dream? And then I suddenly realized, what? Ready to give up my dream? How much have I tried? Two days, one year of academy, and a life. I'm ready to give up in two days. Have I tried enough? Have I pushed myself? Have I really, really got into it? And I'm ready to give up. So I think, you know, life always throws you challenges you're not going to be prepared for. You might think you might be prepared for. You know, there might be so many, uh, you know, you might have perceptions about your capability. You might have perceptions about a certain job, about certain work, or about a certain field. But you never really prepared for it. And when you choose, and once you get into it, you know, if, if you're sitting in your house and there's something nagging you that I need to try this, you know, just listening or just like reading about it or just knowing about it from friends or seeing other people do it is not something that you can make your choices on. You need to really get into that and you need to put in your best before you can take an informed decision on whether how this is made for you. Not you are made for this, but whether this is actually your dream. So life is all about informed choices, which you have to take. Let's talk about, you know, the second day. And, uh, you know, we have a lady's flank separately. So after the fall-ins and everything is finished. So we're having a fall-in in, uh, on the lady's flank. So we're 17 of us and we're made to sit on one corridor in one line. You know, just a feet gap from each other. And our senior appointees come with, I think, about five more lady officers. And uh, they say, we have a gift for you. And we like, oh, yes, yeah, something, you know, we're going to bond with the, you know, bond with a senior, this our bond. And a whole carton new comes up, you know, and we like, oh, wow, there's some goodies. And come out, blue bottles, blue bottles, parachute oil. And so they're 17 of it, you know, coming out of the carton slowly. Each one of us placed one, you know, and there are two more packets, two more packets of hair clips, those normal black clips we get. And we like wondering, looking at each other that, oh, my God, what is this? So we told, okay, now open the bottle and pour and oil your hair. How do you oil your hair? You take some little on your oil, you know, hand, five drops maximum or something. And we told, no, no, keep pouring till we tell you to stop. So we're pouring till the time it's literally dripping. And we'll be wondering when are we going to tell, you know, told to stop. And that's not one palm that you take. It happens once and once again and once again and once again. And like, you know, you, you, can, you can find the oil dripping off your forehead and down your neck. But that's all you have to do. And that happens the second day, that happens the third day, fourth day, five days, till we know this is how we have to be. And we're running in the corridor with that and we suddenly hear a senior, a male senior saying, oh, now you all look alike. And you suddenly realize they're trying to get us on the same platform. They're trying to get all 17 of us 
on the same platform you know so this like like this if i say um, you know in the evening after the dinner we used to have these sessions with our seniors and uh, we would be rolling i mean sprinting is like like a normal thing rolling side rolling front rolling back rolling we didn't even know there was a side rolling do you know that so you know and 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 we learned how to back roll without stopping so you know you back roll like you know in 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 a in a smooth fashion and and we are taught to do that and hunching and squatting and legs up and then in the middle of all this we were all crying some of them and everything we've all broken down but you can't stop and in the middle most of the time so many times i still remember we told to get up so we in the cycle stand and go to the gate and touch the gate and come and what are we told go hang your ego on the gate and come run get up hang your ego on the gate and come they trying to you know break us down to you know all our pre notions in life or what we thought we were what we thought you know we were in outside life leave that aside drop that now you have chosen a career and a life get into that first get equal be a team first